Hello to everyone from Texas. This is Grand Paul Hickory welcoming you to another edition of Grand Paul Hickory's Sunday Morning Country Chapel Time. And today is June the 26th. Can you believe that? Already. Uh, this month is almost totally gone and we're fixing to hit July. Boy, I really feel it in the heat, don't you? I tell you what, I just never really did any good in hot, hot weather. My temperature is uh, 65 to 68, and that's that's what I really enjoy. And, of course, that don't happen here in Texas. We've been in the 90s, constant, the upper 90s, and they're speaking of the uh, hundreds in this coming week. So here we go again. Summertime. I want to talk to you today on today's subject, lending a helping hand to others. You know, just what are others? Well, they're your neighbors, people you come in contact with daily. And uh, we need to be kind to these people, understanding, not run over by them but kind and understanding and try to be helpful in any way we can. But, you know, I have noticed so many times when I help somebody, uh, they get to where they, uh, they want to take advantage of me. And uh, I, don't, I don't stick around takers. You know, there's givers and they're takers. And they, some people, they think if you give and you help other people, and you love God, then you're weak, and you're somebody that's to be taken advantage of. And this is a very sad thing in the hour that we're living in. But we've got to do the best we can in our lives. God is watching us. Everything that we do, His eyes are upon us. And you know, so many times we won't financial blessings. We want help from God, and it just seems like it don't come. And there we are, we're wondering why the test. When we've done our best, and sometimes we've gone through things for years, praying, you know, God, I need this financial blessing. I need this place in the country where I can move out of the city. It's too dangerous here. It's too corrupt. And the rent's gone crazy. The cost of living is going way out of boundaries for everyone. Nobody can afford it. I want to live off the grid. And it seems like I'm stuck like Chuck. Like I'm stuck inside a valley that I can't climb my way up out of. I keep climbing and I just slide back down and I stay in it. And these are times that we wonder why. But you know, God loves us and He provides for us. And He puts us through tests. And we have to wait upon His timing. So what do we do in the meantime? when there's things that we want God to do and it just seems like it's just out of our reach. We just can't reach it. It's just not there. We can be kind to others. We can be helpful to others. We can be nice to others. And we can remember that those others are in the same situation that we are all in under this present administration that is in Washington, D.C. There is nothing we can do about it. I heard them talking earlier today on the global news about that Biden is marching the United States of America to war with Russia and China. Russia and China both are getting more and more emboldened and they know that America is weak under one of the worst presidents that we have ever had in the history of the United States of America. So, 
We have so much to pray for, don't we? And we must pray. We must ask God to intervene and to help all of us. But be kind to others as best you can. Seek peace with all men. Be peaceful. And when people start picking at you and start messing with you, mark them and avoid them and stay away from them. Don't hate them. Forgive them and just go on. That's what I do. People don't even have to ask me to forgive them. I just forgive them and I go on. Because friends, I want a home with Jesus. Hopefully on the new earth where I can have a farm, a nice garden, a great place to fish at. We all have our hopes, don't we? For the hereafter. But listen, be kind to others as best as what's in you. And try to be understanding. There are so many people that it just seems like they just want to argue. Uh, they just want to stir up strife and disagreements and trouble and problems. And of these people, avoid them. Just avoid them. Stay away from them. But, you know, Jesus, when he was here on this earth, he was kind to others, even to the ones that slew him. Jesus is our example. And it ain't much fun somebody slapping you in the face and laughing and saying, ha, 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 ha. you can't hit me back because the Bible says I can do it to you seven times seven. What is that, 72? So I got 76 more times I can stand here and slap you. The Lord don't intend for you to stand there and let them people beat you to a pole. Why? When somebody approaches you like that, say, why? You think I'm going to stand here and let you run over me? I have the right to stand my ground. And I want peace with you. And this is what we tell people that are antagonistic and that are violent. And I get away from them swiftly as I can. Of course, they have all kinds of things to say to me. But I just walk right on. I just forgive them and go on and get away from people like that. And I avoid them. I mark that person and I know to avoid them. But Jesus, when he was here, he took care of so many people. He always did the best he could to encourage people to always do the right thing and to think on good things. I know there's so many negative things and I know you, precious my subscribers, hello to each and every one of you precious people from Texas and all you that are tuning in. And I know that you've seen me on my videos upset about politics and things like that. and I, I get upset just like the rest of you. And uh, I shake my head and wonder why things are the way they are. But we have to lean on Jesus and know that He knows what's best and that He's got our best interests in His hands. And He will take care of each and every one of us. You know, it says the Lord is our shepherd. And it also says we shall not want. So all of you who are waiting on unanswered prayers that just haven't come yet, remember, the Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want. Now, it might not be instantaneously now. But we've got to be patient and be willing to wait on the Lord. But getting along with others is very important. And being kind to others is extremely important. Well, listen, let's have our prayer together.
Let's have our prayer time. Lord Jesus, precious Father in heaven, we ask you to help us. God, you know how we are. We're humans, Lord. We don't have much patience. And Lord, we want things now. And we have our moments and our times when we just don't feel like being nice to anyone. We just don't feel like speaking to anyone or, or, or talking to anyone. Sometimes we have our days. But Lord, please help us. Give us, God, the grace and the help from you to be able to overcome this and to always be kind and be helpful to others. God, help us to be patient with other people. We ask you to bless all of our neighbors, and our neighbors are everyone in the whole entire world, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Lord God, I ask you to strengthen us Help each one of us. Lead us in the way everlasting. Help us to walk with you daily. Strengthen us, God. Protect each and every one of us as we go about our daily lives and our daily living. Help us to occupy until you come. Lord God, we give you praise, honor, and glory. And we thank you for everything, Lord God. We give you praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, I appreciate you people. Can you believe it's already the 26th of June? Already this month is coming to a close. We've got, what, seven days and it's gone. Actually, we got six days till it's gone. Well, listen, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for stopping by. I'm inviting you to Hit the like button, that helps my channel. And I'm asking you to subscribe to my channel. And I'm on every Sunday morning with a Sunday morning country chapel time. And I'm inviting you to attend it. It's a short one for those that can't go to church, those that can't get out, uh, the caregivers that are at home, taking care of those that are elderly and have disabilities and sicknesses. And those of you who have no automobiles, you have no way to drive, you have no one to come and get you, I'm here for you. God bless each and every one of you, and I'll see you next Sunday morning. God bless you all. You have a good week, and all of you precious people, remember to pray every day. Pray every day. And let's walk with Jesus every day. Goodbye from now.